All right, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're going to be focusing on just keyword research with SurgeGraph. And I'm going to particularly be showing you how to use the bulk keyword research tool kind of in a secret way. There's going to be some built in things that you'll learn that that's not even surge graph, just some stuff that I've come across lately that I'm starting to use for finding trending topics in your niche that you're in. So we'll be coming over here to this bulk keyword research section right here, and we'll be able to paste in a bunch of different keywords over here up to 500 words. But how do we find these keywords? Of course, we can go to key, uh, Google keyword planner, we can go to any of our other keyword tools that we want to go with. But I'm going to use a combination of a couple of different tools. One of them is going to be, we're going to go into a chat GPT. And let me show you this plugin over here. You want to make sure that you select plugins right here. And then under the plugins section, we want to actually use this one by surge.ai. It's called what's trending. It's going to be able to go out there and find trending topics for us. So I'm going to go ahead and click that one. I actually need to disable vidIQ. Maybe go over here and go to the trending section. And then I'm going to go over here and say, give me a list of the top 30 trending topics in the gardening niche. And you could go more specific if you wanted to, like if it was, if you had a site about only organic gardening or something like that, then you could put organic gardening in there. But notice that I didn't even have to specify what plugin. You can also tell ChatGPT what plugin you want it to use, but it automatically knew to use that trending plugin. What's trending? Here are the top 30 trending topics related to gardening from June 18th to June 25th. So it's going to give us like each week, it's going to come out with what is hot. We have biodynamic gardening, cutworms. Some of these are going to be like businesses or any just kind of keywords that's going on. So these are Google searches right over here. I haven't seen it do this before. It's breaking out with YouTube trends right over here. And we'll just let it keep going and we'll come back in just a sec. And I'm going to go ahead and push stop, stop right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try again right here. And I'm going to say only give me Google searches, search trends. And let's try that out and by pushing enter and let's see if it can give us, I'm just focusing on the Google search trends right here. We can go ahead and pick one of these, but I want to see if we can get another one. So this is obviously the mo the the biggest topic right now that's taking off, which is bio biodynamic gardening. So some of these, you could use them as topics or silos, like plowing a garden right here. I used this and I created a silo where we're creating about 20 or 30 art articles based on just the different plowing techniques and tools and plowing a garden, all kinds of different things. A wine garden right here, really, really good stuff. So we're getting some really good ideas Okay, I'm going to go ahead and push stop. It seems like it's starting to kind of repeat right there. So we can come through here. There's sculpture garden. I'm just looking at different topics right here. So wine garden. Let's just go with this one for now. That looks kind of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and go to wine garden and copy. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to go into Insta keywords. Once we go into Insta keywords, you can see that I've already searched biodynamic gardening. I'm going to go ahead and see wine garden under Google, and we're going to go ahead and generate suggestions right here. And then what I'll do is I'll just come through here and we'll just keep loading the results right here. And this is kind of the way that this tool works. It's loading in real time auto suggest keywords. So these are going to be, that's why you have so many keywords in Insta keywords that are no traffic and no volume is because it is picking out keywords that are auto suggest that are new keywords that aren't registered in most of your SEMrush tools and your Ahref tools, right? And so that's why you see a lot of the no traffic keywords. And those ones can be golden keywords to go after and, and, and hop on because other people have not quite caught on and they're not going to be creating content quite as fast as you are, right? So I'm going to come through here and I usually just go through here. You can see we're on W. So I usually just exhaust the list and it's usually between 100 and 300 keywords that we get without diving in and getting more keywords by pushing the plus button, right? And it just keeps going. It's just, there's plenty of keywords right here. It would be cool if we could do like a button that it would do all this automatically for us. Maybe that's something that I can actually reach out to Insta Keywords Creator to see if they can add in some type of button that would actually do this for us. I'm going to go ahead and stop right there. We probably have a couple hundred keywords right here. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll back up. 
And what we'll do is we'll go up to the top and we will just export this real quick. Select, I'll title it wine gardening and I'll push okay. And then we'll go and open this bad boy up. And then I'll hover over here and I'll double click right there. And then I'll go ahead and zoom in so we can kind of look and see what's going on over here. So we have our score competition and the keyword right there. And we have all these greats. I'm actually going to put a filter on up here just to see if we even have any bad ones. And because the it's it's kind of somewhat rare of a keyword, I'm not expecting that there'll be very high. Like right here, we have fair, great, and no traffic. There isn't any in here that are difficult. So super cool. Let's hover over a left click. And we have 273 keywords that we can go for right over here. I'm going to look and see if there's anything that I can just go ahead and get rid of. A lot of them are local. It would be cool if there was a little bit of a like a tap right here to advance the tool even further. If we could get like sort out local, and then we could just get rid of these keywords automatically that it would put Put those in a category so we don't have to focus on the local ones right but i'm just kind of looking through there's a lot of local but i want to see ones that are not local that we could maybe possibly rank for so then you could go and just grab this but what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab this i'm going to shift end down i'm going to grab all these control c copy that right we're going to go back in uh, to search graph now, finally. Okay, so we're going to paste these into the bulk keyword section, and we're going to say research keywords, it's going to go to town. And this is where you get you get this as part of your membership, is you're going to get the advantage of a high quality tool that has a really nice layout and everything. And you can go and do your keyword research, but then get further details inside of surge graph right so it's going to give us the search volume the amount of keywords most of them so most of these are local 222 of them are local so what i'm going to do so this is what's really cool is that we can actually use this and come up here and set a filter if we wanted to and we can go with informational navigational and transactional but i don't want local and i'm going to push apply so then now we're only going to be looking at the keywords that we really want to go for right here. And that's a quick way and a quick a trick that we can now look at some of this. And a couple of them are going to be off like this Fort Lauderdale menu. That one, we can actually come over here, I believe, and just hover over this. And I think we can get rid of it. I'm not sure. Or if you see one right here that you don't want that to be in the keyword, you can just copy that. You can come back over to the filter and you can go to exclude and just push apply and it'll get rid of that as well. So you can come through here and see any of those that you want to get rid of. But now we can look at this and we can actually go and push sort by. And now we're looking at all these keyword difficulty levels. Like look at this boiler house, Texas grill and wine and garden. You could go for that one. James Harden wine. I'm not really sure about that one, but we're going to go ahead and just scroll through here. So here's a cool one. Can you buy wine from Olive Garden? That one might could be kind of cool to go for that keyword right there. So that's a kind of a cool way that you can use the tool and use the use what it's giving us over here, right? What we could also do is go to, like I said, another keyword tool, uh, keyword planner, and try to grab, you know, 500 to 1000 words, keywords over there and bring them in here over here, you can only do 500 at a time over here. But we could also come over here and go to the just keyword research right here. And we could go wine, wine gardening, and we could research from here and see what surge graphs going to pull up for us in their native, regular part of their keyword research tool, it's bringing in 110 keywords. And then we have some really cool stuff what to do with spoiled wine, I want to see if there's anything in here that I can go with filter and include garden, I want garden or gardening to be part of the keyword. And then we can start looking through here. You could also go into the filter and like I said, select all these, but not use local and push apply. And then now we have all these keywords that we can go with. These I believe mean that they're keywords that are new to the database that it has to go out and find self watering herb garden. So that's not really a wine keyword, but that's a good keyword we could go with, right? Indoor herbal garden kit. 
bottle garden kit. So we're looking over here, wine gardening kit wholesale. So these could be some really good keywords that we could go for and we could just push the right button and go and start writing our article in Surge Graph. You get a lot of different information, SEO information over here on the right hand side. You also get the trends over here for the different keywords as well. We can hover over. We can actually change the chart over here, search intent, keyword density, and so forth as well. So just wanted to give get this out to you guys that there's some really cool ways you can use the keyword research function inside of Surge Graph using the bulk keyword research and bring it in, you know, using Insta keywords, which is great for finding those keywords that are just coming out that they're not gonna make it, they're not gonna be registered in, in, in any other tools. And then it's not even gonna be a part of Surge Graph, but then you can come over here and manually upload them using the bulk keyword tool. You can also use the keyword research tool in here. You're not gonna get as many, like if you use the keyword research tool, what I've noticed is that you don't get as many keywords and so, a lot of times doing that keyword initial keyword research and then bringing it into search graph to look at the keyword difficulty and more you know filtering options and so forth super cool stuff to do and then you can go and write your content inside of search graph so hope you guys enjoy this video if you guys want to go check out search graph it's one of the most affordable just all-in-one seo or ai content writers that has keyword research built in and that has a really good optimization feature built in has auto optimization now they continue to keep adding to this tool so i'm gonna i'm doing testing now so i'm writing content with surge graph I'm going to be getting some rankings and so forth and then i'll be sharing those with you as well super cool this is this tool kind of reminds me of what surfer ai and surfer seo can do which will cost you hundreds hundreds of dollars per month to use in combination, especially if you're going at scale and writing 30, 60, 100 or more articles per month, that's going to cost you quite a bit with those that other tool that I mentioned. But Surge is going to be able to allow you to get into a tool like that, that has all the features and functionality, but you're going to be getting it for a fraction of the price. So you can click the link below, go check out the pricing. And I believe that they have one of the plans that if you pay ahead of time, you can get it for less than $15 a month. Super, super cool stuff. So I will be back with another video. Where we're going to be the next video. We're going to be talking about how to go out and check out one of your blog posts that you already have indexed and ranking maybe on page two or three, but then we can bring it into a surge graph and then further optimize it. So we can see if we can move the needle and get better rankings based on just using the optimization tool in surge. So you want to join me in the next video, make sure to like subscribe, turn on that bell notification, and I'll see you in the next video.